This video is sponsored by Tools for Gents. What? A real gentleman. <laughs> You may know my brother. He starred in a few movies. Pretty good at outrunning the cops, but to be honest, I never liked him. Why would you be carrying a knife like this? Hunting. Don't be a wise guy. My life's better. Why? His knife was absolute shit! You might not say it, but a lot of the stuff he did in that movie was fake. I always had a better knife, but nobody would listen to me. Rambo! Rambo, look! There he is! Got a knife here. Look out behind you, Rambo! It's me, Scambo, remember your brother? Come on out! I'll, I'll help you, Rambo! Let's fight! I've got my knife. See? My knife's better. Why won't you listen? Well, why won't nobody listen? Why, why would you listen, guys? Hey, why would you listen to me? I'm Scambo! I have the knife Rambo should have had. The Tops Steel Eagle 107C Delta. And if someone only had listened once, they might have known my name. Well, seeing I scammed a lot of people with uh, the so-called DBK knife, Scambo. Commando Scambo! Ah! And in this video we'll be taking this knife to the absolute limit to see where the breaking point will be. Is it here only for the looks? Uh, or is there more to it? That's a pretty amazing knife that you have there. Pretty iconic as well. Wanna see the sharpness of this bloody fire? Yeah! Thing? What did you say? Valor. Oh, <laughs> whoa, that's almost sounded like a really big demonetization. <laughs> so let's get this out of the way because this is the most boring thing ever I have ever seen, Marty Boy. Okay, sharpness, factory sharpness. Oh. 230, that's good for a knife like this, this yeah, big. The Melanica had around 200. Yeah. 200 grams of pressure. Okay, uh, cutting, cutting. Yeah, it's really sharp. Yeah, but would this also be hand sharpened by uh, yeah, Tops, do you think? Yeah, I think Tops does most of their knives hand sharpening right now. And for a knife this thick and this big, maybe even 8.5 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, I mean... Mickey, that wood literally exploded. I don't think I have seen anything like this. I mean, the multiple pieces came off in, in one blow. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. It even hurt my hand because it came flying against my head. <laughs> okay, for this size, I'm gonna try a bigger piece. Holy e shit. Mickey Batoning, I would say for a knife this big. That is 9 out of 10. That is crazy. That, that, almost, that almost would be like a 9.5 out of 10 maybe. I, I want to do something Because we it. used, I think we once gave the Falcon even modern Bowie uh, a 9 out of 10. Yeah, the this only one is thing better. Maybe this one should be nine and a half out of ten. You know what it is? The only thing lacking in this knife, the only thing lacking in this knife is length for batoning. That is what it has against it compared to modern Bowie. Yeah. Not good. Is this? This is not. This is not good. Jesus! Absolutely that obliterating is, it. That now. is. Okay, right through the knot. 
Sancho ook even serieus. Dit is echt niet normaal hoor. Look, this is the knife that probably I would have dreamt of as a teenager. You know with the looks? What? What do you think of that piece? This? Yep, and do do that, that, That's bigger than the knife is. And, and it just, has knots. Yeah. Bigger than the knife is. Okay, let's go. Okay, wait. It's cracking it. Oh my god. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? This is just a stress test, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know when you would ever use this. <gasps> There it goes. It did it. As a survival yeah. knife, Mickey, would, would this serve you? I, I'm already thinking yes. <laughs> yeah, it hey. definitely would. Hey, and oh my god. This, because a lot of people often ask why is this? Is that for stabbing or something? No. It's well, let's show them why this is. Let's show them. It actually has a bushcrafting purpose. But who cares? Oh. Oh. That looks very promising. Yeah, look. Look, there you already have a notch that can, could hold like the rope. And also for a bozo pack. fire making. There you have it. Make a little bit notch, make a little V, done. There's something with tops. They always surprise me. That I mean, look, they make knives that aren't really our taste. They are very tactical. But then again, they do really function. Yeah. I mean, look at this feather stick. Would you expect this feather stick from a knife like this? No. It's because they just make it so sharp from the factory. And there's a good profile on it. It just, yeah, it just wants to make feather sticks. Then this part oh, sticks in my hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this. Really. You know what we say in Dutch? This works like a titty. <laughs> This actually works like a titty. So these past few weeks, we have we have filled more fires than ever because we were so lazy at making these fires. We prepared a little more. No failing fires for us anymore because it is actually very easy. Yeah, it, it is the fire suit destroyer, but let me try a few different places, like the handle. Nope. Okay, that can work, I was a little late. Here we go. Boom. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh my eyes. piece of cloth and a fire. Yes, we're making one of the most important things in the survival slash bushcrafting world. Char cloth. Just take a piece of the cloth and put it in a tin with a hole in the top. Make sure it can't catch fire and BAM! You have char cloth. Or at least it is supposed to be that easy. Maybe you try it with your bare hands. <laughs> yes, Ooh. and there it is. No, you would only need like a tinder bundle, tinder bundle like this, which is an old bird's nest, um, with a lot of mud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. What do you say? Nice. It's uh, it's a Thank little moist. Thank you. Thank you for the moist, for the moist stuff. Look, there it is. Or oh, and the, the rest. Uh, oh, oh wait, wait, wait! Put that off. Put that off. <laughs> wait, but so this is now a coal. Yeah, this is your coal. But wait. Yeah, it's going really fast, Mickey. Get it away. 
I want to try with flint and steel. Let me see. Oh yeah, Look. yeah. There it goes, Luke. There it goes. It's that easy. Make a little. I don't think I have enough here. Just try. Okay. Got You're even. going with the moist side. Okay. And that's how you make fire. Okay. Ow, we ow. What? What's happening? Well, a little spark got inside. <laughs> Second batch almost ruined again. This is like the easiest bushcrafting task ever. And we managed to fail <laughs> because we were reckless yet again. <laughs> Boom. There we go. Put it in here, in the bundle. Yeah, and it had a flame. See, it has a flame, but yeah. it's very, very red. But that's how you make a fire with char cloth. Easy. Easy to make. And easy to ruin. But look, seems. I find it so amazing. Look at this. Oh. So this is what's happening. I am telling Martin a story. Yeah. And he is not listening. And suddenly he's standing against the tree like this. Very clearly with the message, film me, please. Hi. Just want to bring this message. It's time! <laughs> oh my god! For destruction! That is absolutely insane. Yeah. Oh my god. Mickey, it has no chips. Then again, look at this. Martin, let's grab the bone. Do we have bone? In the forest, this is a bone of one of my deceased enemies. <laughs> my father. <laughs> <laughs> It stinks still, like last time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good, disgusting. <laughs> the bone marrow is so, oh, the smell. Do you want to suck some bone marrow? Yeah, nice. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Oh, it came on my face. We have our first chip. Really? Oh, the smell was disgusting. No oh, shit. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can get this on camera. Yeah. It is right here. Oh yeah, but that is actually pretty, pretty small. But yeah, it is damage again. Yeah. It is damage again. And last time, last time when we sharpened it out. It's a disgusting that smell. <laughs> Stand on it, your mother. I want to stand on it, I want to shoot it. <laughs> this tree is getting runner and runner. Okay, Marty boy. Go. Okay. Stand on it longer, yeah? <laughs> okay. Scary. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, that is impossible for me to. I can't, I can't imagine that a knife can do this. Oh, it did oh, it! Oh, it did do I it! Do not, I don't dare do it longer. That's where I place my feet. Oh! Okay, that's scary. Oh my god, <laughs> oh my god! Oh shit! And? Yeah. Still straight as it, as it can be. Okay, there's just a little thing. Is that both handle skills are a bit loose. Well, that you can just 
turn these and it's yeah, fixed. Just a tighten, tightening of yeah. the screws and it's fixed. Okay. Yeah, 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 yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to fire 10 shots at the bloody thing. I'm gonna stand clear. Martin, that tree in the background. Let me focus. Yeah. That's one. So, do you hear the flieg? Yeah, I ook. I think we can say, Mickey, that is indestructible. Yeah, but is this indestructible? I'll give you one euro if you drink that. <laughs> Do you want to smell this? No, why? Oh, <laughs> oh what the fuck? But if you think that it is cheese, suddenly the smell becomes very appetizing. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> you are right. This yeah? does if you if you think of it as cheese, it suddenly isn't that bad. No, it's actually really good. I want to eat it. So you're just gonna eat it. No, you have it in your mouth for Oh nee. Okay. It doesn't actually taste bad. We'll keep you updated if Martin dies <laughs> within now and two hours. And it doesn't taste good? It doesn't taste like actual cheese, <laughs> but it does not taste horrible. <laughs> this is the knife channel. This is two month old, three month old milk that I just put in my mouth. <laughs> Sorry, Mark, I have to cuddle up against you. Oh. Which is uh, not really good. Vicky. Yeah. You know what is almost as amazing as this knife? Well, you mean our giveaway? Is our that what you giveaway. To say? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mickey, we are giving away actually a DBK knife number edition. That, that is. is Crazy! We are also giving away a Falk Neven Limited Edition F1. We are also giving away this knife from Tops. Yeah. And we are giving away this knife from Tools for Gents. Thank you, Tools for Gents. And that's all. This Civivi knife as well. Nice. Civivi or this maybe? No. Okay. That was last month. The pros and the cons of this knife. Well, first of all, the, the first pro that we saw was how sharp it came from the factory. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they say, they say, I don't know, but the Tops knives are hand sharpened. I don't know if that's yeah. true, but it came sharp. Really and sharp. And it was sharp enough. The yeah. second pro. It is literally an indestructible knife. The knife that Rambo should have had, definitely. Yeah. If you yeah. like knives like this, Bowie type of knives, yeah. this is a knife you should have in your collection. Well, the third one was that it is probably on the top of our list of batoning knives. There is yeah, no knife is. in our collection that probably is this good at batoning. I want to I say a con. I yeah, want to say yeah, a few yeah. cons. Give me a few cons. First of all, the handle. Handle is a little bit short. I don't like the shapes. No, I, don't, no. I just don't like the shapes. And no. second con, jimping as well, not really our thing. The third con is that it doesn't really have a good spot for scraping your fire steel without yeah. actually destroying your fire steel. Do you know yeah. I'm, what I'm noticing? That this knife destroys everything it touches. <laughs> if you like these type of knives, yeah. I would dare say that this could be your survival knife. Even though it is like more a combat cool looking knife. Um, I want to say one last pro. The sheath is actually really nice because it is very easy to clip. Yeah, I belt. like that. I like that feature. I want I to say that, that as well. Hey, uh, buy this knife. I don't yeah. know The where. price here. Nice. Oh, that is really good. Yeah. Merk. Yeah, Merk, that. Like yeah. a Merk. I think this is very important to say that um, the DBK knives have been sent. Oh, yeah, the first 300 knives have been sent. It was a lot of work. Yeah, we packed them ourselves and um, like it. Like hey, I. check us out next Thursday, 1 p.m. BDT, because we will be here again. Yeah. Hey, subscribe and bye. Shop, Instagram, everything. Cool, huh? cool, 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 cool.